So welcome back to another tutorial on clothes 3D and in this tutorial we will be looking at how to hang your clothes on the trolley like what you can see in this um, screen right now sorry yeah this is it here so it's going to be quick and easy so let me just open a new page and show you how I did this control N for a new page then yeah my trolley is here So I've dragged my trolley to the scene here. So this is it as you can see right now. Mm. So the next thing I'll be using this uh, metal anger. So I'm also going to be dragging this here. We are going to add this. So the rest will be done manually because you have to rotate it and place it properly on the hanger. So you rotate like this. Yes. Let's see. Then drag it down. Mm, okay. I'm just place it here a bit. So, so it's going to be quick and easy because after placing the first um, shirt on the hanger, the rest is going to just be um, duplicate of the t-shirt, except you have other designs you want to add on the hanger or place on the hanger. So well so i think this is okay for now so let me go to my project file uh, okay so i'm going to go to my project here then we'll bring out i think i'll be shirt here okay yeah this is it here so this is the shirt i'm going to place it here outside then we'll add this again to the same so um zero sorry okay So, okay yes this is it so next we'll do is to drag this um shirt or place it inside the hanger and then we'll simulate it then this uh let me bring the hanger to the back a bit so that it won't tangle with the trolley so i think no, that's all. select all of them yes and drag it to the back okay let me see it's not mm, okay i think we are good to go let us simulate simulate this yes yeah okay yeah this is what i want to avoid but then that's happened we just have to forcefully pull it back so yeah this is it i've been able to fix the tangling issue so then you can just do some manual adjustment probably you want to use the fast gpu so you can just um space bar and pull it up a bit if you are not satisfied so you just put yes yeah okay let's see this so you can just do all this manual adjustment so yeah this is it so um so turn off simulation so next we'll do is to add um more angles so no so we're going to add more proceed to add and click on okay so we still have to do the same placing yes rotate we have to rotate it So depending on how many clothes you want to place on your anger so let me just add two for this uh okay, let me add three for this tutorial so you see what i'm saying so uh is it placed properly well i think this is fine like this. so next thing is to do is to do we are going to duplicate this um shirt so control c control v yes okay where is the shirt mm, damn far away so uh we're going to bring it here yes 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 so you're going to drag it down a bit and put it i think
okay and just okay i think we are good to go let me just place it down and simulate it to see if it's so yes so this is our second shirt as you can see here so the next thing we'll do again is to get drag another anger to the scene again no proceed click on add and click on ok so we'll do the same thing again so depending on how many um t-shirt or design you want to place on the trolley i think i'll make this um file available the i can make this particular file available and also the trolley with the metal anger in the description box so let me see this okay let me use the other side okay uh, so i think we'll do the same thing so control c control v and um, let me place it to this side here yes so okay is that back so then I'll bring it up a bit okay Then you can just simulate it to four. So yes, we are done, and this is it here. So you can add as many as possible depending on how many um shirts you want to place on your anger or design. So this is it. So thank you for watching this tutorial on Clo3D. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more videos.